going into Casadega, Florida. Casadega Spiritualist Camp. All right, so something that I want to mention about this video uh, is that an odd occurrence begins uh, up when we're around the Colby Memorial Auditorium. I have no idea if this is something paranormal or if there's a more logical explanation to what occurs. My camera goes completely black for a brief moment, and when the picture returns, what is caught on video is flashing white all around us. This was not visible to the naked eye. However, it was immediately visible when looking at the screen of my phone as I filmed, and it caught me by surprise. I didn't hit any special filters, nor did I edit anything into this footage. What you see is exactly as it was when I caught it on the video. This is haunted. <laughs> Florida as we enter from the other end. I'm unsure which direction this is, but it's the opposite direction we just came into town. Casadega historic site since 92. Jackson Davis Educational Building. We're going to go check that out. All right, so I set it going in. We're just going to keep filming. I didn't realize that this town goes more by the water here. Yeah, this is the side of the Casadega Hotel. And I say by the water, I assume there's water over here, but there might not be. Casadega. Say hi. Hi. I'll say hi too. And we're at a park with a pond, property of Casadega Spiritualist Camp. Ah, look at that grasshopper. Where's it at? Right there. On the oh, side. wow. Hello, Mr. Grasshopper. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you having fun at the park? Good. No 
don't leave any gifts. Watch your step. All right, so pretty much normal, normal park rules. Let's go take a look. It's a hot one out here today. 95 degrees. July 24th, 2023. 100 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I got some shade over here. That's nice. A hundred degrees? Yeah. I can't imagine. It'll be that hot in a little bit. It will? It will be. How do you know? Because it gets to be that hot um, every single day in Florida in July. Wow. Yeah. With the heat index. So the temperature might not say it's 100 degrees, but with the humidity, it feels like it's hotter. Dad, why is this place infested with bugs? <laughs> <laughs> well, because we're by a pond and it's a park. Let's see if we can find anything. Dad. Nicely maintained park, yo. This is a long video. I bet you you're gonna put all those videos together in a video. I might. We will see. Loving memory of Arthur W. and Reverend Helen C. Hansen, 1916 to 2003, 1917 to 2006. Who is that? Uh, two people that have passed, and I don't know much more about them. Hmm. It's a nice place to sit. Look at these. Hold on, come take a look at this. This is odd. Look at these shells in the tree. They're snails. They're snails. They climb the tree? Or someone put them there? <laughs> Looks like someone put them there. Because there's also creepy bird's feather through it. All right. Interesting. Let's sit for a moment. Sure. definitely tell you if I spot any alligators. We won't be sitting here if that's if I see any alligators. Well, if they're in the pond. Well, that's where they would be, but I don't see any right now. I think we're good, and there's none in the brush, but we're not going to get any closer. Say cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cheese. <laughs> It's called a scroll. All right, let's go see what else we can find. What are you doing? Clapping with the inside of my elbow. Clapping with the inside of your elbow, all right. At May Graves Ward Gazebo. Let's take a walk up here. Nice breeze. Is steep. It's a very hilly town. Seneca. I hold my hand. Why? Uh, because I don't see any sidewalks. What if we see a skeleton? 
if we see a skeleton, that'd be crazy. What if we do? Oh man. What if we do? I'll probably be scared. What if we do? I don't know. We'll have to call the police because that's someone's bones. Dead. Yeah. But we have nothing to do with it. We don't, but you still have to notify the police. Snipes house. Colby Memorial Temple. Oh. Ooh. Get in the car. You do? Yeah, oh, it is hot, that's for sure. All right, let's take a walk around this building and then we'll go back in. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> see what this is. actually coming across on the film but there's crazy light stuff on this film when I film this right now and I have nothing to do with it. Dad, see I see a grass a grasshopper. A hopper. Grasshopper. Hopper. See? Where's he at? Oh yeah, there's another one. Hey little grasshopper. There's held water fountain. Spiritualistic camp. I think it's because this place is crazy. supposedly haunted. I, it could be. I've never had that happen to me before. That's interesting. Does this work? No. Nah. See what this says. Why are you curious? Are you thirsty? Yeah, see if it worked. Because that's definitely old. Look at that thing. In memory of George P. Colby. January 1848 to July 27th, 1933. Born in Pike, New York. He was. Uh, 90 years ago, he passed away. Wow. Passed away here in Castadega, Florida. That's a lot of years. Yeah. It says he came to Florida in 1875 and was led through the wilderness by this spirit guides. It's hard to read. Sentoa or Senton, the philosopher and the unknown, to the present location of the Southern Casadega Spirit Spiritualistic Association. Instructed him to organize a psychic center on this site. He preempted again in 1885 and donated. 55 acres of land in 1895. The permanent organization was completed in, I think it says 1908, but it looks like 1808. This was the fulfillment of a prophecy made when a child that he would establish a spiritualistic center in this town. His psychic work extended over a period of 73 years. I apologize, but this is actually harder to read than it looks. All right. At least for me it was. This looks like 1923 is when this building was built. Caesar Foreman Healing Center. Dad, the, what? There's so many grasshoppers. There is. These grasshoppers are huge. Check them. That is so many. I don't know. They're cool looking though. Can grasshoppers fly? 
This is what I should have been reading. This is much easier to read. Huh? Can grasshoppers fly? Um, can they fly? I don't think so. I think they can just jump very high. Makes it look like they're they're flying. When are we gonna get in the car? Need a little hot. Yeah. You get back in. This is crazy how. It, look! Look how it's doing this. Look. See how it's flashing white. Yeah. That is nuts. I've never had that ever happen anywhere else. Casadega, Florida, July 23rd, 24th, 2023. Bug? Okay, yeah, yeah. Craziness. Come on, stand right there real quick. I want to see if it does it while you're in the picture. Just, just real quick. Okay. All right. All right, let me get in the car. Here, we'll go down this way, actually. This is the way to get to the car. That's the only one I show this part. This is part of the land. Maybe not. Huh. Yeah. Bugs haven't stopped bothering me even yet. Why is it flashing? I don't know why it's flashing. Okay. Twelve fifty Marion Street. Alright. Still flashing like this, look. We, I've filmed in the sun many, many times. Never happened before. Oh. Come on. All right, we're gonna head back up to the car. It's really hot today, so I don't think we're gonna go in any of these shops. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting visit to Casadega. I just wanted to film the same area that we were filming before, where the camera was doing all that crazy flashing stuff. Here it is. This is just five minutes ago we were doing it. I don't see anything happening this time. Interesting. Maybe it's because we're in the car now. Maybe. And it's probably because that this place is creepy. It is. <laughs> it's got a lot of energy. watch our videos <laughs> but the few people that do they might think that yeah because well, you can see how many people have watched your video there's a counter and at this point in time not a lot of people watch our videos maybe one day though how many we're leaving Casadega Casadega uh, like 50 to 100 people for every video, something like that.